Hello everyone, welcome to a weekend at Chikmangalore, Khalasa. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and we are headed out for our long weekend getaway. Good morning with my sleepy face but still got ready for the day. We stopped at MTR for a quick breakfast and grabbed some masala dosa and tart idli aka tatte idli like Sunny would say it. We were a larger group at the beginning but on the day of the trip it was just the five of us going. Everyone was super sleepy and I tried to record it for the vlog and got the dead stare from him. Now it is Sunny's turn who's lost in his own multiverse. अच्छी है लेकिन बैटरी का तरीका अभी बड़ा कैजुअल है. कैजुअल का मतलब होता है अनौपचारिक. Let's do a quick room tour of the Koti Betta homestay. I will leave all the price and inclusion details at the end of the video. It's super well maintained, very clean, looks brand new, has adequate amount of storage, blankets and everything that you need. They have private rooms and balconies with mountain view. They also have parking facilities and provide us with really delicious home cooked meals. I personally 100% recommend this place for anybody. They had like this really huge and spacious property and if you're like a huge family or a group of friends, it's perfect for you to book the entire place all together. They had a lot of complimentary activities as well like shuttle badminton, volleyball, cricket and also they'll give you a Badra River visit and coffee estate tour. Stepped out for lunch at a nearby place and had some lemon juice, sandwiches, rolls because we were really really hungry. And then Venkat got us to Kamath ice cream and I didn't really have high hopes but I must say it can really give tough competition to Corner House curry so it was so 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 good. This is Titanic with vanilla chocolate coffee flavor three scoop ice cream. This one is the Kamath special ice cream with four scoops. And then we have the multi-layered Raja Rani special ice cream with dry fruits, jelly, fruits and three layers of ice creams. Sunny as usual is lost in his own world or rather is still thinking about the amazing ice cream we just had but then i'm sure he was just thinking about this instagram meme theek hai ye batao kaun sa subject acha lagta hai kaun subject acha lagta hai bygan it's now time to head to one of our tourist attractions surumane waterfalls cars weren't allowed till inside so we had to hire a jeep to get there and they would pick us up once we're back too From the drop point you would have to walk for at least around 1 to 1.5 kilometers to get near the waterfalls. So that's where we're headed down right now. Again there are these stairs sort of a walk around to get till the waterfalls. It's almost like a mini hike down till the location. Now after all of that hard work we have made it. Let's now see what the hype about the waterfalls is all about. There were a bunch of like college trip kids who were here and this wasn't the sight of the waterfalls we were hoping for after the jeep ride hike down here plus we were all wearing shoes as well and this is what we got so clearly venkat and abhi are showcasing their disappointment hamara to moye moye ho gaya so we thought why not walk a little ahead to see if this place has anything else to offer to us because we did get the tickets and come this far so we walked ahead from the waterfalls to check out the flora and fauna of this place really contemplating my decision of wearing the sweater top but then we also saw a lot of these coffee plantations around this little hut that was a little further ahead so they were drying all of these coffee beans and i'm assuming that it's again for sale again not directly her but for other purposes we decided to not waste any further time over here and quickly got into the jeep and we are now headed back to the car Our next spot is very close to the homestay which is the hanging bridge. It indeed was very shaky if there are a lot of people it would definitely move around and it was borderline scary because there isn't so much water for a safe landing either. I'm going to get like so tanned. I'm sure it's not that bad because there was like a bike coming behind us after this but regardless it is very beautiful and serene to look around with the Bajra river around us and the greenery it's a good spot for some pictures i believe for sure we came back in time before sunset and it was just so serene to sit outside in the balcony and watch this gorgeous view we then sipped on some tea and hot hot bhajis while the temperature was going down After this we decided to sit down and watch a horror movie have dinner and then we went to the terrace upstairs for some moon gazing because it was just so beautiful we then took some pictures of the stars as much as possible and shared some horror stories from our past as well Welcome to day 2 of the trip I woke up around 7:30 a.m in the morning and got out of the room the whole place was full of fog and mist 
it looked so beautiful there was barely any view of the mountains which we could see yesterday and then there is this gorgeous sunrise i'll let you listen to the sound of nature now Here I am just enjoying my view early in the morning. This is unlike any of my other days among the city's hustle bustle. Just a very calm and relaxing morning away from the pollution and noise. It's just a pure bliss to take some time off in a few days. While the boys went for a quick walk and then we played some badminton too. No pictures of it of course. After that, I got ready because our homestay host was going to take us around the coffee estate tour and the Bajra River. While Sunny calls this a lungi, I call this a wrap around skirt. Okay, and this is what I'm wearing. So beautiful, so elegant, just looking like a wow. Initially, our host decided to take us in a jeep, but then today morning we changed it and we decided to walk. And he was showing us around all the plantations in this estate. They had coffee, arkanut, pineapple, coconut, and so many others as well. Who is judging you? He then brought forward to show us the black pepper. Oh, this is pepper. Black pepper. And black pepper. This is arikanat, aka betel nut, and if you don't know, Karnataka actually holds seventy-eight point nine eight percentage share of production of arikanat. Oh, like that. Oh, mm. it's very raw. We then proceeded towards Bhadra River. Careful. I would like to take a moment to thank Sunny for recommending me to wear shoes this day, even though it didn't really go well with my outfit. And then also for being the spare videographer for this clip and also the other videos as well against this beautiful backdrop of the Bhadra River. We then walked through some of the rippling water onto stones and made it to the other side of the Bhadra River. Imagine walking on this, but with the added complexity of the water. And then we spent some decent amount of time here. The water was really cool and chilly, while the sun was sending down its scorching heat on us. We then walked back to our homestay after managing to get our shoe back on after dipping it into water. It was so good to be back at the comfort of wearing our shoes after walking on those slippery stones. This place had a lot more to offer than the Surumane waterfalls for sure. Highly recommend this even though it's not like an official tourist attraction. It was part of our package for this homestay and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it. We also spotted pineapple. This seems to be red pineapple as per what Google Lens had to say so it's different. After this the plan was to get quickly changed and head out for lunch and have Amit ice cream like Ori says we have to be a liver and enjoy our life so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to have some delicious lunch and head for ice cream you go for a jog you're a jogger you paint you're a painter i'm living i'm a liver i am here to live we're here at Kamath ice cream now and we decided to try something different on their menu Aditi and I decided to have the Kamath special today which is four scoops of ice cream with dry fruits and fresh fruits underneath It tasted delicious and I thought four scoops is too much for a person but their homemade ice cream just melted instantly into my heart. Sunny's having gut bird and the others had raja rani. We are now headed to Kettadamakki viewpoint. This is the before clip of when the ride began and this was the after effect. Hey Prabhu. Hey Prabhu. Hey Hari Ram Krishna Jagannath Premanandi. Ye kya hua? The off-roading experience got us completely shaken, quite literally, but so glad to have made it to the top now. And here's hoping the sunset view is great. We then walked up for about two kilometers or so to reach the viewpoint. It was super, super sunny, so we came prepared this time. The view from up here is just breathtaking. You can see everything from here. It's only just mountains and mountains. Currently, it's about 3:30 p.m. here, so it's not a lot of people, but eventually there will be more folks joining us. We found a nice spot with a seating arrangement, so we were just glued here till sunset. And here is like a cinematic attempt of showing you what it looks like from here. Attempt, I repeat. As the time was passing by, we could see the sun go down slowly, and it was only getting better from here. Behold the stunning views from the Kethan Maki viewpoint—a must visit on my recommendation for sure. 
a lot of people huddled up around here and there was actually an entire group of tourists behind us as well everyone was trying to hold the sun on their little finger some couples tried to get the sun in between their heart shape hand formation and there were just so many things happening around me and here is my inspiration from them <laughs> The sun is almost down and it's time for us to go back after watching this beautiful sunset. We are now back at our homestay and stargazing and Venkar is explaining this to us. Oh, what cool is This is actually the Starlink wala. The satellite, where is the satellite? You see this. Uh, Starlink, this is Elon Musk. Oh. Let's see there is this is another satellite called Astex somewhere they are roaming around and if you had a telescope you would be able to see that I mean you put it here these this set of stars yeah. Oh god We then had our dinner a total 10 on 10 experience for the home cooked food that they made for us all the time It's time for us to say goodbye now and head back to Bangalore a huge shout out to Venkat for driving us all the way up here and also back to Bangalore We decided to leave early to skip the crazy jams due to the long weekend and here are my perfectly normal friends listening to south indian music and just jamming and it was sunny's turn to take revenge on me this time so i decided to include this clip as well because yeah we were tired and sleepy okay fine bye That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to quickly share some package details as well. This is what um they had to offer in terms of complimentary activities and these are some of the places that you can visit nearby so definitely do come in your car.